must know tips about gabapentin. Coming up. What is gabapentin? Gabapentin is a prescription medication. The brand name is Neurontin. This medication is used to treat nerve pain. This type of nerve pain is called neuropathic pain. It can be used as an anti-seizure medication to prevent and control seizures. It can also be used off-label to treat restless leg syndrome and social anxiety disorder. Moreover, it can also be used off-label to treat alcohol use disorder and alcohol withdrawal. And here are some other off-label uses. How does gabapentin work? Gabapentin is structurally related to GABA. GABA is a neurotransmitter in your brain. The way gabapentin works is by changing the way in which your nerves send messages to your brain. Gabapentin can in this way reduce your pain. How can gabapentin be taken? You can take this medication with or without food. Neurontin comes in the form of tablet, capsules, or a solution. If you have the capsule, don't break it up, but do swallow the capsule whole with water. If you take tablets and they are scored, then you can split up the tablet as directed by your doctor. Take the split portion of the tablet at the next scheduled dose. How long does it take before gabapentin starts to work? It takes about one to two weeks for this medication to reach its full effect, especially if you're using it to treat nerve pain. If you're using it to treat seizures, it might take a couple of weeks. Number one, if you're taking this pill three times a day to treat your nerve pain, do not skip or forget taking a dose as it won't be as effective after 12 hours as it has a shorter half-life of around five to seven hours. You want to take steady doses of this medication to be effective. If doses are skipped, at least half the medication within five to seven hours would be out of your body. Number two, do not take this medication at the same time as a stomach medication like Maalox or Tums, as these medications can interfere with Neurontin. Take the stomach medication two hours before or after taking in Neurontin. Three, do not suddenly stop taking Neurontin as this can cause withdrawal symptoms such as confusion, agitation, increased nervousness, disorientation, and insomnia. Neurontin has to be tapered off, especially if you have been on this medication for some time. Number four, if you're older, that is over the age of 65, your doctor will start you at the lowest dose and gradually titrate the dose up to manage symptoms. Number five, the side effects of gabapentin include dizziness and sedation. Be careful when you're getting up from a sitting or sleeping position. There's always the increased risk of falling, so be especially careful when you're going up and downstairs. Number six, a small number of individuals might experience changes in their mood or thoughts. If this is the case, do not hesitate to call your doctor. Number seven, all drugs may cause side effects. The goal of this channel is to educate you about how a drug works and what you might expect in terms of common side effects. There will be always some people who have no or mild side effects. If you do have side effects, call your doctor as soon as possible to get advice accordingly. And if you're interested in other medications and checking out their side effects, click on this link above. Eight, there have been rarer cases of an allergic reaction. However, if you do have shortness of breath, chest pain, wheezing, hives, itching, or unusual skin reactions, call your doctor as soon as possible or go to the nearest emergency room or hospital. Nine, in some individuals, it can cause suicidal tendencies or thought. If you do feel this way, call your doctor as soon as possible. Number 10, in two to 8% of cases, you might experience a swelling in your lower extremities or ankles. Elevate your legs and continue to activate your muscle pump by walking. 11, if you have kidney problems, the dose of the medication will have to be reduced and appropriately dose adjusted according to your kidney function. 12, this medication can be used 
after a zoster virus infection to treat the nerve pain associated with this disease. This type of pain is called or referred to as post-hepatic pain. Number 13, if you have a disease called myasthenia gravis, you have to be cautious with this medication as it can exacerbate the disease. Number 14, this medication can suppress your breathing, especially when used with opiate pain medications such as morphine or with anti-anxiety medications such as the benzodiazepines such as Xanax or Valium. Patients with a history of COPD have to be cautious as well. Your doctor will need to dose adjust the medication according to your side effect. Number 15, if you drink alcohol with this medication, it can increase the side effects of this medication. If these are too bothersome, it would be a good idea to avoid alcohol. There are several medications which can interact with this medication. This list is not exhaustive. Here, I'm highlighting a few of them. Here's some of the most common side effects, which I did not mention earlier in this video. And these include GI side effects, such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and constipation, headaches, drowsiness, blurry vision, unusual eye movements, concentration problems, shallow breathing, and tremor, as well as loss of coordination. And if you want to follow this channel on other social media platforms, here they are. Check them out. And if you're interested in other videos, click right here or click right here. Have a good day and thank you health. Okay, I'm done. I don't know, the, I don't think the lighting was good this time. It's so dark. And also the weather changed. Okay, I, hopefully I'm done. I don't want to do this again.